Hi guys, welcome to Ingvid. I just want to say to you that I have the power. Anybody who watched He-Man will remember this. And if not, oh well. I've got a lesson for you today and it's on cleaning. This, my friend, is a vacuum cleaner. Look at it, elegant lines, a little dirty, but we'll clean that up in a second or two when we start the video. This is on a basic lesson for cleaning. Um, there's another video you should check out. It gives more of phrases you can use with cleaning, right? You'll like that one too. But anyway, let's uh, get moving, right? Hey, there we are over here. Mr. E, oh no, he has spilled something. Spill. Well, what is spilling? A spill is when you have, you know, a liquid and you drop it on the floor and it goes everywhere. Sometimes you can spill things like rice, sugar, or salt because they're uncountable and they go everywhere like a liquid. He has spilled his tea. The cleaner isn't happen happy, but I don't think he's using the right tool for this job. Do you? Do you know what this is called? Do you know what he should use? By the end of this lesson, you're going to know that and a few handy phrases to show you're a native English speaker, yeah? All right, so what's happening in the picture? My friend is cleaning up the spill, but I think he's using the wrong tool. Boya, wipe. First thing we want to talk about is wipe. What is to wipe? Well, when you wipe something, you take a paper or a rag, you know, cloth, or cloth, rag, paper. These are the things we use to wipe. It's a soft movement where you just kind of do this motion or this to clean something, okay? Now we wipe tables and we wipe walls to clean them, all right? So when something's not serious, you can wipe it. It will go away easily, right? Unlike my lost girlfriend. Anyway, wash, wash, what is washing? Well, you should wash your hands, right? To get them clean, but we also need to wash other things. One of the things we wash is after you eat your food, you have your knife and your fork, right? And a plate, you put them in water, right? See our little water here? This is a sink. That's where you put them, by the way. Did you know it? They're called sink. This is called a sink. You put your dishes in the sink and you wash them. Okay, so we've got our sink. We also wash our clothes. You're clean, right? I'm sure you don't wear the same clothes all the time. You take them off, you put them in the machine. We call that a washing machine, okay? So wash, you wash dishes, you wash your clothes. And that's what we've got here. Another word for clothes, by the way, boys and girls, laundry. A lot of times we don't say I'm washing my clothes. In fact, we mostly say I'm doing my laundry but we'll come back to that, okay? So you've got laundry to wash. Now, scrubbing, scrub, scrub. I'm missing something here. Oops, pardon me. You scrub and it's hard. Remember I said when you use a, uh, when you use a cloth, you use for soft, scrubbing is when you want to go really, really hard on something because it's hard to clean. Now, what do we scrub? We scrub floors, okay? You have dirt on the floor, you have to get down there and scrub it. You scrub your sink. Because you remember, you've been washing things, you need to scrub to get the dirt out. It won't come out with a wipe, okay? There's a lot of dirt there. Please, oh please, tell me you scrub your toilet. <laughs> Don't wipe your toilet, okay? You know what you use it for, so you need to scrub that thing clean, okay? Or don't invite me to your house. Some of you have, but I notice you only wipe your toilets. I'm not coming. Change that attitude, change your behavior, I'll be there. Okay, and walls, what? Walls get dirty. People throw things, food goes on the wall, especially if you have babies, it goes up on the wall. You need to scrub it because it goes into the paint, okay? So we've got the verb is to scrub, and we have what do you scrub? Floors, sinks, toilets, and walls. And usually we use a, and this is the word you want to use, a brush. It's a, similar to what you do to brush your teeth. It's a brush you put in your hands and you scrub, okay? So we've got scrub, wash, wipe. What else can you do in your house? Sweep. Now, sometimes people have wood floors or hard floors with no carpet and we sweep the floor, okay? I don't have a broom, I'm sorry. I had a vacuum cleaner, who knew? The art department brought in a vacuum, no broom. But a broom, you see people doing this, right? Okay. The thing they're using is a broom. That's what Mr. E was using here, a broom. 
but I don't think a broom is a good thing for a spill. Do you? A broom moves things. A spill is liquid, remember? So I think he's using the wrong tool. We're going to have to figure this out. But with a broom, if paper or you have, yeah, sugar, dirt, you can clean it up, but water, it's not good for. So you use a broom to sweep. Sweep is the verb we use when we use brooms. And we sweep floors, not walls, people, just the floor. Vacuum. Bum, 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 bum. Remember? Okay, vacuum. Vacuum is for carpets and rugs. Not, you don't always have wood on the floor, okay? You have material or cloth, right? Maybe it looks like this on the floor. You need a vacuum to suck up the dirt. Because it vacuums, you vacuum. You say, I'm going to vacuum my house. I know you have carpets or rugs. A carpet is usually from wall to wall. The whole floor has it on. A rug is usually a small area. This is a rug because it's a small area, while a carpet would be from wall to wall. Okay, so if you don't know what you have in your house, if you go to one side of the house or room, there's carpet. You go to the other side, they're still there, and all the walls, you have carpet. If you're standing on a small space in a big room, it's a rug. All right, cool. So you need a vacuum cleaner to vacuum. All right, what's the last one we're going to do? This is what this guy should be using, a mop. When we say mop up a mess or mop something up, you need this. It's got strings on it and you need a bucket. Okay? So you put it in there, you take it and you go over the water. So he should use a mop really, not a broom to clean up a spill. He would mop it up, squeeze, which push it and put the water into the bucket. And then you take the bucket and empty it in your sink. Now you know why you have to scrub the sink. Pretty cool, huh? So these are six things we want to talk about for general cleaning of the house. Mopping is for wet things, for liquids. Vacuum is for carpets and rugs. Brooms are for floors, normal floors. You brush or sorry, you scrub hard surfaces, things that are really, really dirty. You use a brush. You wash in the sink your dishes and your clothes in a washing machine. And you wipe most things many, many times, right? In the day, you'll wipe things all the time just to clean it a little bit. You like that? Cool. I'm going to disappear for a second because I'm going to give you three handy phrases you're going to like. It's a way we in English save time saying what we do for jobs. Ready? Hey. Oh, I was just taking out the... Hold on. Remember I told you we're going to do three phrases that we use constantly? Well... It's, we call it shorthand. Shorthand means to say many things by saying just a little bit, okay? In this case, in North America and uh, in Britain and other places, we say some things to get the message across quickly. I might say to you, I'm doing the laundry. And you go, what do you mean doing the laundry? Well, it means I'm washing. Remember we talked about the washing machine? I put it in the washing machine. Then I put it in the dryer. Some people hang their clothes outside if it's nice weather. You know, so the sun can dry it. And then after I do that, I fold them. I fold the clothes. And when I finish folding the clothes, I put it away. Now, instead of saying, what are you doing? Well, I'm washing my clothes. I'm drying my clothes. I'm folding my clothes. I'm putting them away. I say, I'm doing the laundry. Cool? That's one shorthand. So you can tell your friends if they call, hey, do you want to go to the store? Sorry, dude. Got to do the laundry. They'll know it's a long job, two hours, and then no time. How about the next one? Do the dishes. What do you mean, do the dishes? Are you going to make them? You have a factory where you make dishes and give to people? No, it's along the same idea. We talk about, remember, washing? I said washing, wash, same lesson from before, right? But now we're using it with phrases that we use in Canada. So if you say, man, I got to stay home tonight, I got to do the laundry and I got to do the dishes, or I'm doing the laundry and I'm doing the dishes, what we're saying is for doing the dishes, I'm washing the dishes, I have to rinse them, that means put them in just water, when I wash, I put them with soap to clean them. To rinse is to get rid of the soap and the dirt. Then I have to dry them. I take that paper we talked about, or a cloth, and I dry them. Oh God, this is a lot of work. And then I put them away. If you have a dishwasher, you're very lucky because your parents are nice and they're making life easy. We had the army in our house, the washer, the dryer, the putter away. And I was the tallest, so I had to dry and put them away. It wasn't fun. Lucky guys, okay. And if you don't have it, no dishwasher, you know what it's like, all right? Now, final one is take out the trash. 
Remember I came back with the trash? I was about to take it out. What does that mean? Well, I'm gonna take the bag out first off, right? So this is all the job, it's not easy, you know? I'm gonna take the bag out, then I've gotta tie it, okay, I gotta tie it, then I've gotta, here's the part they don't tell you. When you take out the trash, it's not just tying one bag, you go around your house and you look for all of the garbage and you put it all in the bag. That's why when someone says take out the trash, you go, okay, five seconds. I'm like, I'll call you in 20 minutes. I have to go upstairs, downstairs, grab it, put it away, tie it up. Then I take it outside. You know what that is, 10 miles away. Walk, 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 smelly trash or garbage. Uh, Canada says um, garbage, North in America usually trash. Either one's okay. Then you take it outside. Then you come back to your house and you replace the bag. That's right, you pick this back up, you put a new bag in, and you put a new bag everywhere. Only then have you taken out the trash. Thought it was easy, didn't you? No. So when you hear us saying these things, it's the shorthand to say my job or my chores. Chores are home jobs, chores. Okay, so you'll see people say I've got chores to do, and it means jobs in my house that I don't get paid for. I have chores to do. I've got to do the laundry, do the dishes, and then take out the tra trash. I'll be two or three hours, and you'll go, I get it. Okay. The only thing I forgot before I go, because there's always some of you people who are really cleany, clean freaks. You like your house clean. You're going to say dust. What does dust mean? Well, dust means when you go to your furniture, you know, your chairs, your tables, and you take one of these, you take this, and you go, pitch, 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 and you clean that dust, that gray stuff, that stuff that flies in the air, and you clean it off your furniture. It's a lot of fun. I never do it. I got dust bunnies. I got dust Godzillas. Okay. <laughs> go look in, the, go out, look at the internet. Dust bunny. It means little ball of dust that grows because you don't dust. All right. So look, I think I've cleaned up. See how I like that? I've cleaned up all the trash. I've helped you understand. Should he be mopping or sweeping? E? Oh no, dude. You should be mopping up that mess. And since I've cleaned up your vocabulary for cleaning, I'm going to take off out of here. All right, because I got some dishes and we know I got the trash to do and the vacuuming because E is a lazy bastard. All right, see you guys later. Have a good one. I'm working on the railroad. <laughs>